what up what up wind boys here and most recently i just spent a week and a half out there in hawaii and while i was on vacation i thought it'd be cool to actually do a lot of scanning of all the objects there on the island and then once i got back i put it all together in unreal engine 5.2 just so i could bring a little piece of my vacation back with me and so for this video i'm going to do something kind of different instead of doing a tutorial i'm just going to break down the pieces and the elements that i used to be able to recreate this scene here that you saw at the top of the video so while in Hawaii, we did a lot of hikes, we did a lot of waterfall hikes, we spent a lot of time on the beach, and the only thing I brought with me was my second iPhone here, in which I used this to do all the scanning of the stuff there on the island. But in my head, I was gonna use Luma AI, but I didn't particularly use the app on here. They do have a feature now where you can actually just take video and upload it directly to the web browser, in which that's what I did. So I took video just walking around several different objects there, like I have the hut that you see right here. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, because the hut was so high and I could only get by so high with my arm reach and everything there. But to my surprise, everything came out really, really well. Now you can only look at it maybe at ground level and I'll show you guys that once I'm inside of Unreal. And if I had like a drone or something, it would have probably given me much better results. But for just having an iPhone and just recording video of 4K, walking around the object, I was surprised at the results that I got. And for those that who are not familiar with Luma AI, basically it's a scanning app that uses Nerf technology, not photogrammetry, to be able to scan stuff and make it into 3D objects in which I did a video. So if you want to check out my channel and see exactly like the breakdown and the rundown of everything thing and how it works make sure you click on that but just to give you an overview of the stuff that i scanned if we're looking right here on the website like this is the stuff down here that i scanned inside the tutorial but for my hawaii trip i got a couple of these objects scanned here so let me actually click on the hawaii hut here and once you do this is just the actual video playback that you see here inside of the viewport but if i come down here in the lower right hand corner click on this cube this is actually going to show us a compressed version of the 3d scan that we're going to get so now if i drag around you can see more of a complete view of everything that it was able to scan there which i was really impressed because this was out in the middle of the jungle yeah it's a village and it's an old time village so you see the plaque there kind of describing everything that was going on which i couldn't get out of the scene of course i had to scan that but just being able to walk around this and not actually have a drone to actually fully go around it i was really surprised that it was able to pull everything out and again this is a compressed version of it so once we bring it into unreal engine it's going to look a lot more better and if i go back over here to my scans this was another one i wasn't sure it was going to pick up or not my wife had her sandals there in the sand which i thought would be kind of cool to throw inside of my scene there so if i come down here look at the 3d object going to click on this cube down here and now if i drag around you can see this is a completely 3d scene in which it actually looks good in the browser and it even looks better once it's out of Unreal. And once you're in Unreal, you can actually have this cropped out, which is really neat as well. And I thought it did a really good job scanning the sandals because the sandals are super thin. And so I wasn't sure exactly how it was gonna scan. Like I was up above it, moving around there with my camera and I got as low as I could there. But again, this is a super small, super thin object and it actually pulled out a really good result there. Now with Luma AI, they just released an update to their Unreal Engine plugin that allows you to bring in Nerf technology directly into Unreal so we don't have to export out OBJs or anything of that nature and it gives us really good results. I'm not gonna go step by step on how to set this up but I do have my project file open right here and I'm just gonna show you guys what the Nerf looks like inside of Unreal, just everything raw. So down here in my content browser, if I look down here, you can see it all separates so it has luma and this is going to be the height and if i double click on the blueprint this is going to give us a couple of different options there and so we actually have the baked lighting in which everything in the scene is going to be baked but if i come over here to dynamic this is what we're going to use if we want to be able to have our lighting and our scene affect our object in which i'm just going to left click and drag it into my scene here and let me scroll in here a little bit so we can see it better somewhere around there so you can see the kind of results that we get once we put it into our scene. And if you look into the background, you can actually see the scene that I have built out, which I'll get here into a little bit. But I just wanted to show you what everything looks like raw instead of Unreal Engine. So this is just the nerf taken from Luma Labs and just dragged and dropped into Unreal. No OBJs or anything like that. But the one caveat is, as I was saying, if I come up, you can actually see it starting to get darker. And I believe it's doing that because I wasn't able to get as high with the camera as I wanted. So again, a drone would have probably got this a lot better, but I was kind of inside the jungle and I didn't have a lot of wiggle room to kind of maneuver around this hut there. 
So let me come over. I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to show you what the baked one looks like. So I'm just going to drag it into the scene here. Let's push into it a little bit so we can see it better. There we go. So that's what it looks like with baked lighting. And so the actual sun and everything isn't really affecting it. So if you delete like your lighting and everything, it's still just going to have that baked lighting in there. And which I didn't like this. I like the way that it looked once it was fully integrated into my scene. So that's the one that I kept there. And it's as easy as just coming through and dragging and dropping a lot of stuff into your scene. So I had some buoys in there that I scanned. If I come through, look at the buoy. The buoy actually looks really great. So this is actually what they use to bring the kayaks off the beach into the ocean. I scanned around it just with the video file and everything looks really good in there, especially when you just have it inside the sand scene. So now that I showed you how to scan everything, I'm going to tell you how I actually built out the beach part here in which I actually built out a landmass inside of Cinema 4D and then I brought that into Unreal Engine. So if I'm inside of Cinema, it's as easy as coming over here to where you have your polygon objects. Just left click and down here we actually have a landscape tool in which if you just click on this, it actually has like a landscape in here. And all I did was come down here to borders at sea level, click on this. And just kind of came through and manipulated these attributes here. So I think I did like 1500 by 1500. Just kind of played with the height there and everything. Brought up the width segments. And just kind of played with this until I got something that I thought looked kind of beachy. And then once I was done from here, I just went through, come over to file. And then export it out as an FBX. Now we could have used the Centerware plugin, but for something simple like this, I'm only exporting out geometry. So I thought an FBX would suffice for my needs here and I was able to bring it into Unreal Engine. And then I was able to add the sand on top of it. Now, if I pull into my raw level right here, you can actually see the ground that I brought in here from Cinema 4D. And you can see that the sand that we have down here and for the sand, I actually had to use mega scans. Like if you look at this photo here, I tried to do some sand textures myself, but there's a lot of palm trees out there on the beach. So there's a lot of shadows. And then when I did find like an open sandy area, there was a lot of tourists. Like I should have probably went out earlier in the morning to try to do this type of stuff, but I couldn't get around the people and I couldn't get around the sun and the palm trees and the shadows and everything on there. But instead what I did was I came to mega scans and they have a lot of sand in here already. So all you have to do is go to collection, essential, surface sands. And if I scroll down here, we have a lot of different type of sands. Like I used the one they got from the Thai beach, which if you look at this photo here, it kind of looks like the sand in Hawaii anyway. And so I was happy that I was able to just come through here, download some high risk scans of the sand and be able to add that to my scene since I wasn't able to get anything myself in which this is the one that I used down here, the Thai beach sand. So if I let click on this one, you can see this is the sand that I used, which I thought really resembled the sand in Hawaii on the North shore where I was at. So again, if I look back here in Unreal Engine, this is the sand on top of the land that I built there inside of Cinema 4D. And yeah, I thought it looked really good there. Now, when it came to all the different foliage and the elements of the sort, again, I couldn't scan that type of stuff because everything was moving. It was really windy out there in Hawaii. So I had to go to the marketplace. And again, as I was telling everybody, this is where it becomes really handy because I got this jungle asset here and I actually had it free because this is one of the packs that they actually had for free during one of the months. I'm not sure which month it was made free. But this is a really good pack here if you want to get any type of jungle elements. And a lot of these different foliages and ferns and palm trees and all the different sorts are the same exact ones they have there in Hawaii. So I was able to use these to supplement that I wasn't able to get the foliage myself. But again, I would say for anybody, especially if you're new to Unreal Engine, make sure you get those free packs at the first week of every month there on the marketplace because you never know when you might need something there. In my case, this actually worked out perfect. It was if I'm back in here instead of Unreal Engine, you can see all the different trees that I used here inside of my scene to give it that nice lighting effect there, especially on a hut. The trees are all moving by default. Same thing with the ferns, same thing with the grass. And I was able to just use the foliage tool and paint these on here, which really came in handy there. So I was even able to have some vines there hanging from the different trees and everything that really enhanced the project. Now that I have everything that I need to completely build out this scene, I just basically played it like it's Legos, just putting everything there on the landmass using the foliage tool and just placing all my different objects in there and then comes to the camera work. So once I was have everything in there and I was happy with it, these are the different camera moves that I have because once I have my scene built out, 
basically i just wanted to make like these little vignettes that i could have cut together all inside of unreal engine you can see that it has this bobble movement in which i just used this camera blueprint in there that would allow me to do the head bob so if you guys want to see how to build that let me know in the comments down below i'll be happy to do a tutorial on it but if you look inside the viewport you can see that it's slowly looking like it's walking towards the hut and i just did four different shots like this so if i come over to my other shot let's open up this sequence here look through this camera click play you can see i have a macro shot here just looking at the buoy that's right there i wanted to really emphasize that there and this water actually came with that jungle pack there as well so i thought that enhanced it a lot as well as we have the reflections and the shadows and all the different glints hitting off the water there which i thought looked really nice if i come over here to shot three let's look at this one open up the sequence look through camera you can just see i have the camera coming from the back side i wanted to show the sandals in there a little bit this log that i scanned there on the beach and this is actually one of the kayaks that i helped push into the ocean there's a group of women that were out there that were kayaking so i got to scan their kayak and i got to scan the buoys and everything in there and then once i was done adding all these different shots together like i said i only have four inside of unreal engine i made a master sequence in which i was able to edit it all together just like i was in resolve or something and i didn't do any cuts or anything in any other programs i did everything all here inside of unreal engine so if i come down here to my master sequence and let's open this one up and if i scroll this up here a little bit you can actually see all the different shots that i have in there so i have four shots in here and if i come up here to the top look through this camera just click play you can see everything is just playing through and it's going through cut by cut so you don't have to render out individual shots we can actually just edit everything here inside of unreal engine which i always thought was really neat and is underutilized i don't think a lot of people really use this but it saves you a ton of time because you could do one master render all at once there at the end and you don't have to worry about separating your shots and then doing it in post and like resolve or premiere or something of that nature and then down here at the bottom you're able to actually add in audio here as well so i have some audio tracks that are playing in there you can hear it inside of unreal you probably can't hear it now because i have the desktop audio turned off but that also helps there as well if you're trying to edit it to the beat you can add in a wave file not an mp3 it has to be a wave but you can add that there inside of your timeline and everything will be good now when it came to lighting i didn't do anything too crazy in there just your typical setup there so if i look inside of my fx folder you can see i have exponential height fog in here i have some ambient dust which this also was included inside the jungle pack your post process volume i just did all the different coloring and everything in there and then just your basic light your skylight and your clouds and the one thing i will say if i come over here inside of my post process volume if i come down to where we have the different film grading stuff so let me see right here under color grading under miscellaneous i do have a let down here so if i come over and scroll this over a little bit you can see that i have a LUT that's playing in here so if i turn this off you can see it got a lot darker in there and this is the only thing that i did to really enhance that shot there and if you guys are curious what LUT pack i was using if i go back here to the marketplace you can see i'm using this one by amplify I don't even know if it's available anymore i did buy this maybe a few years back with unreal engine 4 but the latest update they have is with 5.0 so you might want to check the marketplace i'm not sure if it's even available anymore but they have a whole plethora of different LUT packs in here which i always thought was really nice so this is usually my go-to when it comes to adding LUTs to your scene because it has some really nice ones in here now i think that's going to do it for the behind the scenes if there's anything inside the scene that you guys want to know furthermore how i've created this scene out let me know but i think i covered everything here plus a lot of the techniques that i have used to build this scene out i teach on my youtube channel so make sure you get to my youtube channel check to see what's there if you can't find a particular technique always leave me a comment and i'll try to link you to the video that i think will help suffice and answer your question so this was a lot of fun to build out if you guys like different things like this let me know down in the comments down below because i think as i'm doing a lot of traveling especially on the tour i'm going to start scanning stuff in all these different cities around the world that i'm going to be going to and then i'm going to be putting together a scene with all the scanned objects and just kind of give a trail of everywhere i've been and bring it all together inside of unreal engine 5 so if this is something that you're interested in make sure you subscribe to the channel and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i see you again aloha